Now, secondly, a healthy endothelium not only keep the not only keep the platelets inactivated, but it also keep the coagulation system under check. Healthy endothelium does not allow the coagulation protein in active state to accumulate. For example, these are two healthy cells. If these are two healthy cells, or these three are healthy cells, healthy endothelial cell should not tolerate the presence of activated coagulation factors near them because they are very, very, you can say, skeptical about the activated coagulation factor and they will kill them by special mechanisms healthy endothelial cells don't tolerate the presence of activated coagulation factors because they, there is increased risk of undue clot formation right? or undue coagulation. So healthy endothelial cells have mechanisms to keep the activated coagulation factors concentration very low. How? Multiple mechanisms again. Healthy endothelial cells express a protein which is called yeah what is the name of this protein uh, this is a chemical substance which is expressed by healthy endothelial cell it is present on every healthy endothelial cell what is the name of this substance yeah heparan sulfate excellent this is molecule every molecule of Every you can say endothelial cell expresses heparan sulfate. And what heparan sulfate is doing? Heparan sulfate is a molecule on which a special type of yeah, a special type of platform can sit. This special molecule which can hook on what is this? Which can hook on? heparan sulfate, this molecule is carb, called antithrombin 3. What is it called? Antithrombin 3. This molecule is produced by the liver, right? This is present in your blood and this molecule sticks on the surface of heparan sulfate or heparin like molecules and when antithrombin 3 sticks on the surface of heparan sulfate antithrombin 3 become active and what it is doing once it become active yes who knows what it is going to do yeah antithrombin 3 what is its function this is a protein yeah what is its function it will cut down the thrombin molecule it will cut down the, what is this, thrombin molecule. It does not tolerate any thrombin molecule. Thrombin is an active coagulation factor which can propagate the coagulation process. So healthy endothelium does not tolerate thrombin. For example, if coagulation is going on, suppose here, imagine, here coagulation is going on. There is some injury here. Coagulation should occur here. But if some coagulation factors are coming to healthy area, do you think healthy area should allow coagulation? No, this is undue solidification of blood. So healthy area will protect it. How? That it has special, what is this? Antithrombin 3. And what antithrombin 3 will do? Yeah, antithrombin 3 will destroy thrombin. This was the first function which was discovered. And later on they came to know that this can also inactivate, yeah, it can also inactivate activated factor number 10. It can also destroy the activated factor number 10 and it can also destroy, I think they are all very sad, right? Activated factor number 9, right? Activated factor number 9, that antithrombin 3 the molecule once it binds with heparan sulfate it become active and it inactivate thrombin inactivate factor number activated factor number 9 and activated factor number 10 you look at their faces I think there should be some tears also right 
Am I clear? This is what you have to remember. Then there are more mechanisms. There is another molecule which is expressed by endothelial cells and this molecule is very naughty molecule because it modulates the function of thrombin. You know what is the normal function of thrombin? Normally thrombin help in coagulation. I will explain it later. Normally thrombin help in coagulation. But if thrombin is caught by this, this is thrombin. If thrombin is caught by this molecule, functions of thrombins are modulated. That is why this molecule is called thrombomodulin. Thrombomodulin. So normal healthy endothelium expresses thrombomodulin and thrombomodulin bind with the thrombin and once thrombomodulin bind with the thrombin then what will happen? Thrombin will activate protein C. What it will activate? Thrombin will activate protein C. Right? And protein C will eat up factor number 5 Yes, protein C love to digest away, active protein C loves to digest away activated factor 5 and it also eats up activated factor number 8. Right? So what is this protein? Protein C. C. Right? And this protein C is going to see these activated factors and destroy them. Am I clear? Now what we really see here, first before we really talk about coagulation, before we talk about platelets and all these things, a good doctor should know what are the normal mechanisms which keep our blood into liquid form. A big help is done by the endothelium itself. That healthy endothelium produces nitric oxide, PGI2 and adenosine dephosphatases. And these are the product which keep the platelets inhibited. Right? And platelet don't stick here. So these are anti-platelet aggregating factors. These are the factors which prevent the platelet aggregation, number one. Not only healthy endothelium prevent the platelet aggregation, healthy endothelium also inhibit the proteins which may be involved in coagulation process. That healthy endothelium expresses heparin sulfate, right? which bind antithrombin 3 and once antithrombin 3 bind with the heparin sulfate it become activated and it catabolizes or inactivate any thrombin or activated factor 10 or activated factor 9 all of them are inactivated right so endothelium is protected from undue coagulation then thrombomodulin is a molecule expressed by the healthy endothelium which can bind the thrombin and thrombin which is normally a pro Normally, from